Hi, Steve here. Today I want to talk to you about our latest software, cloud-based, called Racing Tickler. Now, we didn't make the ratings or anything that this software gathers information from and then sorts it. What we've done is we've taken well-credentialed information from a third party, and most of you will know where it comes from, but what we've done is assembled in such a way on the software that it is very easy to find race-winning strategies. In fact, we've got six supplied when you take up subscription in this software. It's cloud-based, so you can use it on your phone, your tablet, your Mac, your iPad. In fact, even your fridge if it's got internet connection. So it's very versatile, and we've given you the six strategies that we have obtained the results that I'm about to show you. So you may remember a little guy called Bill Gates. Many years ago, he created a software called Windows. And all Windows did was make the information that was available on computers much more sortable and easy to access. And that's exactly what we've done with Racing Tickler. We've taken some very good information from a very good website and put it into a format that you can drill down in, in seconds even to get the selections for the day. In fact, I can do it in under three minutes without any effort getting the six strategies. So without further ado, let's look at what Racing Tickler has done for us. So if we go down now and have a look at this six strategy graph, we can see that, I'll just put my specs on, we can see that the green line there is the profit line, and that is quite healthy. In fact, we made 108% return on investment. So for every pound we've invested, uh, over this period, we have got more than one pound back. So that's handy. The little red lines are the wins. We have a strike rate of 23%. And the blue lines are the bets that we've had. So you can see um, not a lot of bets right across. The highest one we've had is 40, 42. We've had that in course and distance and blinkered races. If we go over to... The stats a bit, you can see there exactly, and this is all just down below from the video, you can see exactly uh, what one is doing what. Now, the strategies are brought about because the actual interface of the software is very sortable. We have um, another video below which goes into exactly how it does it. But what I want to tell you now is that if you want to use staking or something like that, the strike rates are very good on this. You can see all this has been obtained by level staking and the fact that it is so readily available. And also there's a few other positives that it does, e.g. it gives you live bet back and lay odds into the software and also it gives you um, a sorting menu so you can sort by uh, odds, you can sort by the number of days since the last start and also the age of the horse. These are three sortable ones right off the bat. Plus the software has what we call um, the little up and down sorts, not very technical name, but you can sort by column, so from highest to lowest, etc. And you can export this into Excel or one other of those software spreadsheet programs to do even more drill down if you want to. But if you don't have Excel and you're not even sure how to use Excel, you can do everything you need straight off the software. And as I said, it takes me about three minutes to do a day's racing to get the selections. So it's very, very fast. The price is very, very good. I won't mention the price because if you're not getting in on the early bird, it would be obviously costing you more. So I can't mention the price here. But all I can say is that you're looking at under a quid a week to have access to it. I don't want to keep this video going for too long, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly flick through these six categories so you can just see how they perform on a daily uh, performance line. Here's our um, Cheek pieces, we can see there. We've only had some of these from the 1st of December, so not a very long strategy. As I do this on the morning of the 13th here in Australia, we haven't um, obviously got the 13th 
of December results or selection. So you can see there the red ones are our losing days. So four losing days there, five winning days, 100% return on investment, um, six wins from 12 bets. Move on to the course and distance one. And you can see there uh, a couple of good winners in the middle there. And once again, a pretty even break between um, winning days and losing days. This one here, uh, Longest Traveller, you can see there that it's, it uh, has some really good winners, but it has lots of days, but you've got one or two bets most days, and uh, at the moment it's not doing a lot. It's just making 117% return on investment. So eight wins from 37 bets. We move on. The Tung Tai one, we can see there, once again, this is from the 1st of December. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six winning days, three losing days, 127% return on investment. And uh, am I missing some? Have I missed one? Oh, yes, there's the visor. And we can see the visor, first time wearing a visor in a race. We can see there we've got a bit of a run of outs there, but it's showing 92% profit. Had a good winner there of uh, up around 20 to 1. So that's just quickly showing you what the day to day action is. As I said, we make no excuses that the results are from only from like the 16th of November on some and that because it's when we created the software and started testing it, we couldn't do anything before that using the filters that we've got. Okay, so that is in a nutshell. If you want to see more on Racing Ticklet, it's down below. There's another video. And obviously these screenshots, uh, these scraps I've showed you are below too. So on behalf of Michael, who's uh, done a lot of work on creating this software, and myself, Steve Davidson, thanks for watching this video. And I'm sure if you get involved, you're going to have a lot of fun and build your bank nice and slowly and consistently with Racing Tickler. It's doing the UK racing occasionally, it's some Irish racing, but essentially... If you like Irish racing then and that's where you bet, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're betting in the UK, even if you're in Australia, the selections are, um, the data is available from 7 a.m. UK time. So even in Australia, you've got plenty of time to um, get involved, get the selections, put your bets on and let the rest happen. So thanks again and we wish you all the best in whatever your decision is. Cheers.